Trucks have been the same for a very long time. Like 100 years, trucks have been basically the same. We want to try something different. So I present to you the Cybertruck. Since the start of Elon Musk's Cybertruck project three years ago, the electric pickup model has always been what is anticipated every second of every minute. Cybertruck is currently being finished up for launch. So what interesting features will be updated and how much will Cybertruck cost in the end? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back to Tesla Car World. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started on today's content. Initially, the top spec Cybertruck was set to come with three electric motors, also known as the tri-motor option. In December of 2021, Elon Musk teased plans to develop a new four-motor Tesla Cybertruck with a crab walk feature, just like the Hummer EV. Musk also suggested that you'd be able to upgrade to a new variation model called Cybertruck Plaid. It isn't clear whether all these versions will still be available once Cybertruck production begins, however. After all, Tesla canceled all orders of the Plaid, with Elon Musk saying Cybertruck Plaid is canceled. No need, as Plaid is just so good. Furthermore, there is information leaking that the single motor variation is gone. Instead, Cybertruck will produce dual motor, tri, and quad motor models and launch in July of 2023 after years of delay. Back in 2019, the plan was to eventually release the clunky looking pickup for the lean price of $39,900. The dual motor all wheel drive version starts at $49,900, the tri motor at $69,900, and the quad motor will cost $89,900. Speaking at the 2022 Tesla shareholder meeting earlier this month, Musk said that the Cybertruck's price will be different from initial promises. Cybertruck pricing, it was unveiled in 2019. And, and, and the reservation was $99. You know, things have, a lot has changed since then. The specs and the pricing will be different. I, you know, hate to sort of give a little bit of bad news, but I, I think there's, there's no way to sort of have, have an, anticipated quite the inflation that we've seen and the various issues. Um, but what I can say is that the Cybertruck will be one hell of a product. And it's gonna be like a damn fine machine. In 2023, the price would be fifteen to twenty thousand dollars higher for each variant. Dual motor will be at least sixty-five thousand to take advantage of the EV credit. The tri motor will be eighty-five thousand, and the quad motor will be about a hundred and five thousand U.S. dollars. Tesla will use its four-wheel steering to allow the truck to move diagonally, as a crab might dodge boulders and large rocks when diving off-road. The Cybertruck will be a higher price compared to its competitors because you'll be getting a better quality product, and it'll be worth every penny. So, what new outstanding features will the 2023 Cybertruck have? The dual motor Cybertruck will reportedly reach 60 miles per hour in just four and a half seconds and have a top speed of 120 miles per hour. Those looking for the ultimate performance will appreciate the three motor model, which Tesla says will essentially teleport from zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, with a top speed of 130 miles per hour. The quad motor variant will be even more powerful. It'll reach zero to 60 in just under 2.9 seconds. Cybertrucks have an adjustable air suspension that can be raised or lowered on the fly and provides up to 16 inches of ground clearance. Add that to its 35 degree approach and 28 degree departure angles and the Tesla pickup could prove to be a formidable off-road machine. But there has been no confirmation as to whether or not the Cybertruck will have solar panels, but it's certainly a possibility. Tesla is known for its innovative and environmentally friendly designs. So it's likely that if the Cybertruck does have solar panels, they will be an efficient and sustainable option. Many experts believe that Tesla will include solar panels in the upcoming Cybertruck. Recent Cybertruck prototypes have included solar panels on the roof. The number of solar panels needed to power a Cybertruck would be 10 to 12 400 watt panels. These solar panels can be located on the roof of the truck, but can also be on the truck bed cover when it is in the closed position. It would be completely worth the investment for Tesla to add the option to include solar panels to the Cybertruck for an additional fee. This means that those who want the option can have it, 
But for those who don't want solar panels on their truck, Tesla can still produce a Cybertruck without them that is just as good and efficient. So far, we haven't seen a huge amount of stuff on the inside of the Cybertruck. But early previews show that the interior would be sticking to the Tesla formula we've seen in other cars, especially the particularly spacious Model X. The Cybertruck will also be able to seat up to six people, and its 6.4 foot cargo bed offers 100 cubic feet of volume. The steering wheel is the same butterfly yoke design we've seen in the latest Model S and X cars. The 2023 Tesla Cybertruck is best described as a crew cab because it has full-size side doors for the front and back. That crazy triangular profile, however, can't be good for rear headroom. It also has a nifty slide-out tailgate that doubles as a ramp to load four-wheelers and motorcycles. Extra storage space is found under the Cybertruck's rear seats and beneath its hood. Tesla reckons the Cybertruck has 2,830 liters of lockable cargo capacity. This includes the load bed, which Tesla calls the Vault. The dashboard provides a place for the 17-inch touchscreen. This high-resolution piece of tech is one of the largest infotainment displays in all of motordom. This one comes with a new customizable user interface. The Cybertruck has integrated 120 volt and 240 volt power points, turning it into a kind of mobile mini power station. It also features an onboard air compressor, which will make it easier to use on camping trips or on building sites. The Tesla Cybertruck rides on a chassis with a floorboard battery and the stressed body, what the company calls the exoskeleton, is made of super strong stainless steel that's hard to dent. Also, since stainless steel is resistant to corrosion, the body needs no paint. The side glass is extra tough, strengthened with a polymer layered composite. Elon Musk said that the Cybertruck will lack side mirrors, since there's no need to have them when you have rear facing cameras in the front fenders. Will this comply with federal requirements? Hard to say at this point, but we suspect there will also be some bureaucratic hurdles with the LED strip exterior lights, which look cool. Tesla has filed for a patent covering electromagnetic wipers, which requires less electricity than a regular wiper motor. There's also talk of using a laser to keep that massive windscreen free from raindrops. But how about you? How do you feel about Cybertruck's new pricing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to let us know what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.